This is the largest collaboration this community has ever seen. 24 custom mega figures replicating 24 real cosplayers. And this is only part one of eight. Throughout my journey with Halo Mega, I have seen countless customizers come in and out of this community. Under this glossy poster, we have some of the greatest collection of custom figures ever showcased. The most custom figures ever showcased Definitely. in any kind of video, right? There's never been something like this before. Six customizers, alongside a load of 3D printers, have created a set of figures. For 19 cosplayers at the Halo Championship Series Final. That means 19 cosplayers at the event will have their exact armor recreated using custom paint and 3D printed parts in Mega Force. Just let that sink in for a minute. 19 of them. This is all for the Halo Championship Series Final. Buster. NSI, Ghost, Halo 4, County, and Riot. Big shout out to LS3D Prints for providing yeah. so many custom A large pieces for the showcase. All official handles will be pinned in the description and the pinned comment down below. You have brought together the community in a way that's never really been seen before. And I don't want to show them all off too soon, okay? We're gonna go through them one by one. You're currently sitting at 24. I'll shake your hand on behalf of the community, you mad lad. So smooth transition, let's start with the custom work of Buster 2005. Look at these. His stuff has gotten absolutely insane. Yeah, and even G Customs before was saying like the improvements he's made in the last year is wild. I can definitely see like, the, like that is exceptional. Man. We are going to make some mistakes in this video. First of all, we've got Buster's work and there are so many 3D printed parts here. But obviously the thing that stands out the most is that Halo ring. Like that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the detail there. Like it actually looks like- it's Like the hologram that Right, that's what I'm trying to say. Like it's not just a, a painted ring. It looks mm -hmm. so highly detailed. Is that made from metal wire or something? I don't even know. No, no, it feels like hard plastic. I'm not sure, but that is so dope. The second I saw that armor attachment in the game, I was desperate hot. to see a, a mega custom and here it is. little tiny teddy bear. Mm -hmm. The head is currently, and arm is currently yeah. right We're gonna here. fix it. We're, We're gonna, gonna fix, fix it. it. It's gonna be I'm there. not even concerned. This figure has been produced for Viper 466 by Buster, and I do also want to mention all of these have been paid. These are all paid commissions. This is just exceptional. Like, what are we, what are we talking about Absolutely here? There's so wild. much going on. This here. is a Firefall helmet, and the AAP utility belt is from LS3D Prints. The level of detail that LS can get is just dumb. Like, like, I don't even understand. The whole thing is an SYI Mark VII conversion kit. Just for a start, how many different paint apps are on this thing? It's dumb. So many. It's dumb. And look at these rotatable ankles. Ankles. Look at that. What a good figure to start off with. We also have this blue ODST. This is also done by Buster. And this is for my man, Luga Verdo. region leaders for the 405th. I got to meet him last year and I got to have some really cool conversations with him. And so this was one that I was very excited to get done. The helmet out. is an LS3D print. And then Ooh. this <laughs> waist part is- Don't be shy, Ray, really bring that yeah. up, but this micro lens knows no bounds. This waist part is a 3D print by Buster himself. He has been absolutely turning out- Yeah, he sent me these. for the channel. Back to the hips. One of the really cool things about that hip is that Ooh, ring. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I see that. That's the crazy. Ring. Absolutely insane. Oh. And then another really fun detail. Blood type looks really good. Oh my good. goodness. Now, Strandy, I used to be a Warhammer 40k guy back in the day, and I, I think I have a steady hand, but I don't know about dude, that, dude. Buster. I don't know if I could paint that steadily. Wow. That's wild. Buster has had some insane detail work. I've got a couple of Nerf ARs mm -hmm. and Bulldog that he painted for me. Incredible work. We also love 
that this is a showcase of the 405th, right? Like, they yep. need more spotlights, they need more community support. So take a bow, Buster2005, and let's introduce the work of Riot. This is the man, the myth, the legend, Petitious. Pernicious. Pernicious. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. He was incredibly helpful with this project. He is mm. a leadership of the Pacific region mm. for the 405th. He made a Google sign-up sheet, and he tied it to a data sheet that kept record of all of the data from I mean, it was you two. It. You two went all in on this project. I loved this cosplayer last year, and I filmed a couple of videos showcasing the 405th work last year at HCS. So it's so bizarre to, to me. see a scaled down version of something it's that so I edited and I good. took so many photos and videos of a year ago. To see it, I'm like, that, that, but that's a person. That's <laughs> like, a person. Yeah, it's crazy. Absolutely it's fantastic. so accurate. This is Riot's customizing work. Every one of these customizers are going to have separate showcases of their work coming soon, but this is the first in that project. Yep. So these are the two that are both for Pernicious Do. Let's talk about some of the pieces yes. here. So we'll start with this Marine. He's got a Gungnir shoulder. This is LS3D's work. A lot of this is actually LS3D. Gungnir version 1 shoulder. XR utility belt. This beautiful DMR. Now, uh, yeah, I've, I've seen this DMR kicking around the community yep, for a long time. It's, it's so good. Apparently it's one of uh, LS's best-selling pieces, uh, like his breach weapons are always good sellers, and you can definitely tell why. Now, let's just have a quick little look here, like this masked marine uh, is from the original Gun Goose Gambit. It's... Come on Mega, give us a reach marine, please, I'm begging you. Uh, the paint apps on this are awesome. I mean, how do you get those stripes so well Absolutely applied? Insane. And these little red marks here, absolutely gorgeous. Then we've got this figure. This is a commander. It's got a trimmed collar custom chest, I've been told. So LS did the chest and he originally had a collar where the knife was, but Riot ended up cutting that part off a bit to get place for the mm -hmm. knife. I mean, exceptional. I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this. And one of my personal that I was looking forward mm -hmm. to getting done. It's got a custom 3D printed cod plate and a Mark V base wrist. And this is again all LS3D's work. Magnificent. The amount of pieces that LS pushed out within like a month. Also, I do want to also mention all of this was done within like a month. A month. The turnaround a was month crazy. And like two the turnaround weeks or was something. absolutely crazy. You better be watching out for him. This is some outstanding work. The next showcase, we've got three figures coming up. We're going to have more and more leading up to the big one of eight figures from one customizer. This is three more, and these are all from Towny Custom. I think I started following him this year, actually. Just all, all Dude, good he's, stuff. He's got some cool It's just stuff. all good stuff. We're gonna start with a helmet that I've been wanting Mega to release for a long time, the Military Police. I used to rock this in Halo 3. Absolutely love this helmet. Absolutely gorgeous. The Military Police, we've got a Master Chief good and steady, and this ODST. So let's start with the one, yeah, with the clearly the most custom pieces here. This military police is for Ark Soul. This was another one that was there last year and was a high priority for me to get also done. Also this AR mm, chef's kiss that looks gorgeous. One of my favorite details that has ended up making its way. Oh yeah, look at that. He has a custom pony water bottle. <laughs> so Duke, I was sharing some behind the scenes sneak peeks mm. and when I showed him this, he was geeking uh, out. Yeah, yeah, I bet, I bet. And that's just So absurd. this cosplay done by Ark Soul was I believe created by Duke. And yes, the knife is removable, but no, I'm not gonna remove it because these things are delicate. Trimmed Gungnir shoulders here. They've actually cut part of them off, as well as a helmet and JFO legs that are all LS3D's prints. I'm a special fan of these white boots. I don't know why, but I've never seen trims like that, and it really it's works quite nicely. This yeah. Master Chief is nice and simple, just an LS3D print magnum, looking good. You know, you cannot beat someone walking around as the classic 117. I think you told me that one of the customs was gonna be a Master Chief. I was like, uh, well, what are they really gonna do with that? This is just a good, clean Chief. Like, this yeah. looks 
really nice. Get a good zoom in on that 117. How do you do that? <laughs> one is this ODST, so it's a Mark 7 knife. This is the thing that I was fangirling about yesterday. This is an LS3D print. Apparently it is very difficult to make. You remove this knife here, you can slot it in to the holster, and bam, bam. Like what? <laughs> it's so good. Like, how do you, how do you, I don't know. I cannot even imagine doing something of that detail. Absolutely gorgeous. Big shout out to Towny Customs. We're looking forward to showcasing more of your work very soon. We're moving up on to four different figures now. Every time we're getting more and more and they're just getting so crazy. This is the fine, fine work of NSI. Great, great content creator. Very consistent. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. And an absolute stud. Yeah. <laughs> now, oh, well, absolutely. Now, the figures that have really stood out to me are these War Masters. One is from Ghost, and we'll be showcasing that later, but these just look so gorgeous. And these are for unfit armoring. Last year, he had a Mark Seven. This was the first one that I wanted to get done. Yeah, cool. This is what started the whole thing. I wanted oh, to get. Cool. As I was talking about getting this done, he ended up switching to this red. And so I was like, what to do? I, I guess, guess you just, get both. You get two. You cheeky rascal. <laughs> Unfit Armory here. Now this is a War Master, one of my all time favorite <laughs> figures anyway. We've got a Kukri right shoulder knife and that just sheaths in beautifully. Another LS 3D print. Highcom shoulders. Gorgeous red stripe, really well applied. And these War Master helmets were done by Buster, his own 3D prints and models. We've then got KG Supreme. The bulk of it. One of my favorite aspects of this thing. I did a really good job at recreating it. Now this ODST is kitted out with LS3D's work. We've got a V1 helmet. This is the Reach ODST helmet. We've got this base wrist HP chest plate. That's front and back 3D printed. The V5 belt and grenadier legs. And I just, I love this color scheme. And, and the, the, all the paint apps are so clean. It's so consistently good. Like all of these figures are so good. They're so good. I always love a really clean black paint application on these belts. Uh, always a good touch. Yeah, yeah, always goes a long way. Then we've got JSL UND. Pineapple Master Chief. Missions change. They always do. Now whoever paints, like, here's the thing. I need, I need these Nerf guns. I need all the Nerf guns. They're so <laughs> These pineapple grenades are custom sculpted, and yes, they are a cosmetic that you can get in Halo Infinite. The 117 looks clean. It's just a good looking Master Chief. You can't go wrong with a good looking Master Chief. A very nice yellow visor. This is more like a Halo 3 uh, cartoony kind of color scheme. This is more like a dirty, photorealistic Halo Infinite Master Chief. I do want to take a quick peek. Those boots are in Oh, right. Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. If you notice a piece, then you comment down below saying where it's from. I'll add it into the list of content creators. And the final one is this Tan ODST for Banshee Rose. It's just a gorgeous ODST. Oh, look at that cape! I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even <laughs> see that cape. 
<laughs> oh, that's crazy. The whole time I was like, it's just a good ODSC. I turned it around. Oh, wow, look at that. That was an organic reaction. So yeah, that's clearly clay um, or some kind of green stuff sculpted. I feel like you just breathed down my throat the second I, <laughs> I bent that. Um, yeah, gorgeous figure. So big shout out to all four of these from NSI. You've done some phenomenal work there. And yeah, we're gonna be showcasing more of your work in an upcoming video. Two more custom creators to go and we're moving up to five figures. Let's bring them in. This is the fine and dandy work of H4LO. Halo with a four. These are some of my most anticipated figures to see being able to watch Halo work on these. Mm -hmm. and yeah, you've had a really exciting group chat on Instagram. I've really enjoyed seeing the progress in motion. The figure that I was excited for, really the most of any of these custom figures, was seeing Pit Ninja Armory's Gungnir yep. from last year's HCS come alive. He was so, like, approachable. He gave us custom stickers of Team yep. Gungnir. He was very photogenic. It was my and my little brother's first Spartan we saw. We've actually got some sweet pictures mm -hmm. with him. Yeah, yeah. I was very excited for this figure to come yep. to life. Yep. The yep. color coordination between the guns and the figure is just gorgeous. Yep. Like, it works so well together. Strap yourself in for this list. We've got a Mark V base wrist, base cod plate, Gungnir legs, and a soft case. They're all from LS3D. It just bulks it out. It's like, it's a great figure from Mega to begin with. 3D printing, like Mega have always said, 3D printing is a natural extension of their brand. And that's the only way you can look at it. Like it just makes their figures look even better. And one of the main things that I was really hoping Halo could achieve with this is getting the bolts. So, so there's a really special connection here, isn't there? Yes, there is. I'm very excited about this. This is Papa. Bear. Pip Ninja's father, who also cosplays with him. What a partnership. I and love that. Absolutely wild. It's so fun to see. This is a special detail asked by Papa Bear to get a claw onto the backpack. Halo absolutely nailed it. Damn. Also, take a good look at that UNSC logo right on the chest piece. Oh, oh my gosh! Damn. <laughs> damn, that's actually wild. Got his service number as well. There are custom grenadier legs and a base cod plate on this one, but it's mainly the George figure. And yeah, look at that. Is that with a Dremel? Probably some like little tool. Something like Great that. Great battle damage added. I would love to try and add some of my own battle damage to some figures as well. Everything about this screams bulky father. <laughs> <laughs> Bulky tank. And I guess like father like son. I absolutely love the lore dump behind this that this is a father and son cosplay. Big shout out to Pip Ninja and his father. That Papa is Bear. so dope. Papa Bear 71. We will make it sooner or later. Reach has been good to me. Time has come to return the favor. Right. We got three more figures here. We're gonna go for this Oni Operative Gap. Again, a classic figure, just no extra 3D print parts, just base mega with the elevated artistic style that Halo has. Yeah. He's able to elevate this. Right, thing. exactly. Beautiful little bit of camo on the legs. Again, it's like you can take a base figure from Mega and you can highlight it, you can upgrade it using 3D pieces or just a really good paint job. This is for Indigo Dog. Dog with a zero, Indigo Dog, awesome custom piece. It's you. I thought. Never mind. What was your name again? I know the community is unanimously in agreement that cat ears are a natural true extension Halo. of Halo. True Halo. A great, great addition to the sandbox. We've got official cat ears coming in the new multiplayer mayhem set with Mark 7 later in spring of 24. But right now we've got these two figures. Gorgeous. And Gorgeous. These, the cat ears are prints from Buster. Oh, they're prints? Yep. Oh, I thought they were Mark. Oh, wow. I thought they were sculpted. Nope. Those are prints Heck from Buster. Yeah, Buster. Very nice. We're going to go to Carter real quick. Mm -hmm. This is Carter. On underscore 319. Again, just these absolutely wild <laughs> articulation on the boots. A couple of extras on top of a really nice Carter and this energy sword as well. Look at some of these extra details. Warning sign on the inside. Oh gosh, yeah. How are they all doing? Dude, <laughs> Halo has got some skill yeah, with he's these got a micro stuff. He's got a steady hand. I'll give him that one. A Mark V base wrist and base cod plate. FJ legs all from LS3D and the Buster Cat ears make this an exceptional figure. And this is going straight into the hands of Khan underscore 319.
Lieutenant. Commander, sir. I'm Card. Noble team's leader. And speaking of cat ears, we've got one more. This is for Miss Booth. Very Miss nice. Booth. Look at that. This is her personal artistic design on her armor. It was actually really interesting. We we struggled. We really wanted to try to get as close to the hex design that she was doing mm. because of the scale. You just couldn't. Yeah. This this translates really nicely. It does. The micro little booth. Ah. Oof. This is one of his first and his color mix paint mm. that he had to do for that blue is absolutely on point. Ooh, yeah. I was so impressed yeah. with how yeah. well he matched that color. Yeah. Outstanding figure. Miss Booth, I'm sure will greatly appreciate this one. Very nice. Oh, that's so Very cool. Nice. <laughs> Look at that. What, what an outstanding figure. Halo, you've really outdone yourself here. I could not have imagined better figures from you. Like, so good, so good. I need commissions from all of these people in the future. It's crazy. You just want to pocket so many of them. Sorry guys, the parcels were all lost in the bale. I don't know what to tell you. One more final customizer to showcase today. They went all in on this. Eight figures. And they produced these in like a month. They, yeah. The turnaround was wild. Ghost absolutely went ham on this. Yeah. He was able to help me organize a lot of this and just get information divvied out to my guys. Along with Buster and NSI, they were my three main leads on this, mm -hmm. and yep. they really helped me a lot. Where do we start? I'm gonna start with this officer. Yeah, right. let's start with the officer. Yeah. Nice simple one, no 3D printed parts. Just the LS3D Magnum alongside a great looking officer. Commission for Xbox Insider One. of naval that intelligence. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's crazy. Y'all y'all are cracked. Just a nice, easy office. Another layer to the epicness of this <laughs> is Strandy, being the absolute unhinged mad lad that he is, decided it wasn't enough to just get all these custom figures made for people. We're also presenting them with custom cases for all the figures. And each one of these is unique. Purchased all these cases himself. Just so dedicated to this entire process. So yeah, obviously that's not completed yet. We're gonna stand him up nicely, but the... <laughs> tink, 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 tink. Wow, Slip Space is really doing him bad. He didn't, he didn't buckle his seatbelt. Every single one of these customized figures will come with a unique one-of-a-kind case with a load of different pieces from Strandy's collection. You can see these are going to be so nice once they're finished. A white and blue Mark 7. This is for Team JTF4. absolutely nailed this color combo. It's just a clean looking figure. I know that the guys say that working with white has always been kind of a struggle. Mm -hmm. Man, yeah. they have yeah. absolutely nailed yeah. it. A ton of these Mark 7s are all SYI Mark 7 conversion kits. We got two here that just, they work really well it side by so side. so cool. Yeah, this one in particular has a Mark 7 knife that is removable, but again, I'm not gonna do it right now because this is not my figure. Gloves as well. Yeah. <laughs> this word. is actually crazy. I love this one. This is really nice. The visor looks so clean. Everything about this screams perfection. It screams attention to detail. It screams dedication to the brand. It looks good. Ghost provided a load of these nice battle rifles. I believe these are LS. Yeah, I don't know. A load of the Combat Evolved Magnums, which are definitely LS. The other Mark 7 is for Emp Frosty. EMP Frosty.
you, you, your, your eyes immediately go to this visor. Like, uh, what is that, dude? How do you do that kind of... Like, back when I used to do visors on Space Marines, I would, like, fail. I'd let it dry, I'd paint it white again, I'd do it again and again, and it would end up with, like, just a cake <laughs> of, like, all the different attempts. But this is just, like, it's like he just did it with his eyes closed. Incredible. And this blue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. It's also metallic. Almost yeah. metallic. Super metallic blue. I absolutely love it. One of the special details that Emp Frost wanted on it is having this frost design mm -hmm. on the boots and the forearm because mm -hmm. that is a specific detail on his cosplay mm -hmm. that he has. Very nice. And I think it worked out really well. Just phenomenal. Just Can phenomenal. See the boots. Mark 7 is also just such a nice armor. Two wonderful Mark 7s there. Now, my camera last year loved this one. Yeah. Loved this one. I mean, he, the way he walked onto stage, I can picture it perfectly in my mind now. Just so menacing, like such, such a presence on that community stage. And I was just so happy to see that we got a custom figure of this as well. This is for Dire Wolf 111. This is another Dire Wolf, right? So yep. this was last year's Dire Wolf 111. And then this is the current Dire Wolf 111. These are both going to be going to the same guy. That green man. Ay, ay, ay. And this is a specifically his last year's version. He has up updated his cosplay for this Look one. Look at that, man. How do you do those shell casings like the that? inside That's shells. tripping me out. How do you get the red in there, man? Oh my gosh. All in on this one. This is, this is my, this is top five for me. That knife is so menacing. The whole thing is phenomenal. This is a Kukri and Chess, the Mark VII Breacher. This is all from LS3D. So phenomenal. cool story about this Breacher chess piece. It was custom made by LS for uh, this yeah, project. Yeah. This is the first version of it. He had the base parts for it, he had the Mark 7, and he had the Breacher chess piece for Reach done. We ended up needing to do was slamming that Breacher attachment onto the Mark 7. Oh, okay. And so yeah. he was able to pull his files apart and slam oh, them really? together. Really? Yeah. And Just it was last like, minute? Literally last minute. LS said I think he took about 30 minutes to do it <laughs> and shipped it out the same day. That's just ridiculous. It, it was a panic mode. We yeah. needed it and he nailed it. So Dire Wolf 111, I think you're, I, I'm looking forward to presenting this one straight same. into his hand. Yeah. The presentation of these figures is good. I'm so excited. I'm getting like yeah. a little nervous, but I'm so excited. <laughs> Next one, we gotta go for this ODST because if we're talking about Terrible. 3D printed pieces and we're talking about attachments, audience, hold your breath for this one, okay? You're not prepared. Golly. A ball joint. <laughs> a ball joint as a helmet attachment. So you literally pop it in there. Does nuts. Magnum, of course. Strandy, I'm in custom heaven. <laughs> like, yep. I died and went to custom heaven. This is a black Mark VI. This is for Bob Ross. His name is Bob Ross. Is my name. Okay. So this is son of Bob Ross. Okay. Yeah, I think that okay. should be the joke. You're good. You're good. <laughs> black Mark VI. Absolutely outstanding. So there's a lot here. There's Gungnir 3D printed legs, custom thighs, a cod belt, Mark V wrist, and Mark V base chest. I feel like, you know, when you've, you've been recording for so long and you fall into the same thing, I keep on just being like, it looks gorgeous. It, it looks, looks so, so good. good. It looks insane. Because, like, like, legitimately, this is all just outrageous. A really outstanding piece, and that leaves two more. We're going to go for this Warmaster. We've already talked about this kind of Warmaster already. This is for Unfit Armory, and as we mentioned, yeah, he changed colors last minute, so I guess he gets two. <laughs> yep. That's, I don't make the rules.
arm and shoulders. And LS3D also uh, worked just around the clock to get all of these pieces printed last minute. And yeah. he really wasn't given much warning. Came or, like, in clutch. Yeah, it, it was kind of one of those where like he agreed to do a few and then we were suddenly like, just kidding, it's more than we 20. We have 24 <laughs> figures. He just committed, good man, just committed. Clean red, a lot of great silver detailing there. And that Warmaster helmet, I need it in my collection, ASA Pronto. So unfit armory, congratulations, that's heading your way. The last one is this black and gold firefall. This is the last figure in the showcase. I mean, we're almost at the end. I don't want it to end, dude. But also I do, because we've got like a billion things to film today. Yep. <laughs> it's so a much. black and gold firefall, and this is for Death of Noble 16. comes with a custom strand of hair on the figure. That's a real rare collectible. I can go clone strand now. And this noble of Death 16, he was in the top of the cosplay contest last year with his incredible CE Master Chief. Strandy, yes, sir. goodness me, oh my, my boy. I'm so proud of you, my son. You've really <laughs> just come all in on that. I mean, here's the thing. Thanks cannot go to just one person. Tireless commitment of so many customizers, so many 3D printers, just so many dedicated cosplay. Halo cosplay is at the core, the absolute foundations of the Halo community. It's just giving back to the community. And this project, more than anything else, shows giving back to this community. It shows tireless work from people like Strandy, who's organized this, Pernicious Duke for organizing and creating the spreadsheet for all these, for all of the people that have put in just a dumb amount of hours into creating some of the most iconic pieces. An enormous shout out to Ghost, Buster, Halo, Riot, Townie, and NSI for all of their work here. Strandy, I'll shake your hand one more time. This has been another video with the domain. Can I sign off with my personal? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, go, so, that. go get your figure, bud. Go get your I'm personal go figure. So this was done by Sticky Grenade over mm. on Instagram. And the helmet was done by Thalmanka Tree. It has literally been locked in its case for about four or five years yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And this is the first time that I got to take it out. And so huge shout out to Sticky. This was such a fun project to work with him a long time ago. Custom Strandy, signing off. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are the 405th, a worldwide Halo cosplay community, about 25,000 members strong, and we'd like you to join us. Come find us at the 405th.com and we will help you learn how to build your character.